Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are live here in Herb Roller in Kohler, Wisconsin, directly across the street from Whistling Straits. Solly here. Uh, big Neil Schuster is here. Hello, Neil. Big Neil Schuster coming to, <laughs> coming to you live from Herbert Roller. TC is here. Hello, TC. Greetings. Glad to be here. I'm in enemy territory. We will address that, I'm sure. DJ Pi is here. Hello, Pi Man. Hello. How are you guys? We are doing this live. You might be listening on the podcast feed. If you are, then you'll hear audio as normal. We are doing two different mics. We got a Yeti mic here in the middle that is trying to pick up everything for the live stream, normal mic. So bear with us. The conditions are really difficult out here. They're very tough. But we're also in an RV in the middle of yes. friggin' Wisconsin. And, and we're, we're streaming doing this. a live stream. So listen. The people get what they get. Exactly. So our um, rollers on cinder blocks out here. Before we get rolling too far, Dream Golf, the le a leading golf brand, is responsible for three of the most influential golf destinations in North America. Can you guys name them? You got your nose going to be a quiz. I think there's one right down the road in Sand Valley. That's exactly I, I right. I think there's probably one at Bandon Dunes. There is. Potentially. And there's, I think there's one at Cabot. That's exactly Canada. right. You got all three of them. Big things are happening at Dream Golf destinations, Bandon Dunes. Recently announced that it will host 13 USGA Amateur Championships over the next 23 years, starting with the 2022 U.S. Junior Amateur. In Wisconsin, the Lido Golf Club is being restored near Sand Valley. The Lido was considered by many golf histo uh, historians to be the greatest golf course ever created before it was destroyed during World War II. And to celebrate these exciting developments, Dream Golf is hosting a giveaway. It gives you a chance to win a trip either to Bandon Dunes or Sand Valley next July. You can be among the first to preview the Lido or be on site at Bandon Dunes for the 2022 U.S. Junior Amateur. The choice is yours. So the Dream Golf Giveaway open to all subscribers. Enter by September 30th for your chance to win a four-day, three-night stay. I know you guys love free stuff, free chances. Go visit, go to dreamgolf.com. Sure visit dreamgolf.com slash giveaway to submit your entry and start dreaming. And stay in the loop with Dream Golf because they uh, and they're going to build like a million more courses. Yes, over the they next. have a it's lot. Crazy, of, a lot of great stuff going on. So. Especially Sand Valley is a very good seat still available situation. Yes, yeah. There's there's a lot of land out there. All right, we spent the day at the Ryder Cup. You guys, first ever day at the Ryder Cup. Take me there. What's it like? First day, it was wet and windy today. True. Uh, and and in uh, reverse order, I'd say it was yes, windy, then windy, it was wet, and then it was wet and big heavy raindrops coming off the lake very menacing skies rain coming uh, up from the ground it kind of was the embodiment of the logo you know the, the big cloudy yeah. guy just <laughs> her, her, her her cold. Cold. yeah yeah the big cloudy dude yeah so uh but no it was good the course looks amazing from the like vistas you view it from you're kind of up on top when you walk in um it is slick out there people are gonna have to watch their step uh, uh, it, it, it might be safer when it gets wet Versus when it's dry. I was trying to warn you. The, the dry is where they get you. That's where you, you're full of confidence. You get that fescue laying down where everybody's been walking. It's truly game over. There's a few spots. We walked out out nine uh, up the left side of nine fairway. And then uh, there's a, a like a mound or a, a big hump that you have to cross over to get to the merchandise tent. You could set up a webcam there, and I'd pay like I'd pay like ten bucks an hour to watch people. Uh, Neil had some, I got some. Neil I got had some, some videos. Some I don't want to apologize. I was laughing way too hard at some of the videos Neil had of people on all fours on, coming up the hill. They were, they were patrons climbing up hills on all fours. I mean, it's it's a bleak. Scene he, there's gonna be calls to release the tapes. I don't know if I want to do that to those poor souls. They're bear crawling up these these that, mounds. That seems like a thing you needed permission for. I, exactly, Cody. I, it looked like it's it, on your it, it looked like Ranger School or the stuff that they're doing over in like a bada bond you know oh in the uh, terrorist training camp on the monkey, monkey bar we're missing bars monkey bars yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell we could have spent, to... spent a lot of time over there <laughs> <laughs> i said it looks like okay also i want to give a shout out to a lot of the people another free ad of course but we did we switched to moon man what do you think it's fine uh, uh, spotted like, cows yeah, spotted cows better but your feedback I agree with that your feedback, you know, it doesn't fall on deaf ears over we here. We listen. Pro we, just, we just don't agree. We just disagree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's fine. That's and, fair. And I got this is America. A little, caught a little flack for saying Spotted Cow is just okay. I'll triple down. No, you got, like you got flack different. for calling it a cult thing. What is that? That's like exactly It's for it sure a cult thing. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly and you know who gets mad when we make fun of cults? Cult. <laughs> <laughs> but that's another. Sorry. That, that's a you quick, know, quick derail. You know how you, it, you know that it is actually a cult when somebody starts with, I mean, it kind of sounds like a cult, but it's not a cult. So, I mean, Solly's also shitting on Spotted Cow and drinking a seltzer. So I just, love my seltzers. You know I like my seltzers. I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it with a seltzer. Cody, too, so. the, big, the biggest badass I know is also has a seltzer. So I feel like I'm in very good company here. So. What, what was our biggest takeaway today? Should we start there? Mm. 
that the the lead up to the Ryder Cup is very long. long. And mm -hmm. this is my arduous. This is my third straight day out there, and I don't really know what I was doing out there. It's nice to see some people. Nice to catch up with some people. And there hasn't been a lot of that in the in the world in general in, in about a year and a half now. Um, but yeah, they, I kind of was like rolling my eyes the whole celebrity Ryder Cup thing, whatever. But it's kind of like you know what. People need something There's to watch. There's not shit else going on. There's out here. not a lot going on out there. It's kind of you go to walk the beautiful golf course and you go to just go ham on the merch tent, which I think you guys did some we, auditing. We can of get there. What was going on out there? We can get there. I think we're gonna want to talk pairings probably a little before that. But how, how many golf shots did you guys see today? I didn't get any. I saw zero. I saw zero. I saw Tony Kuko should have shot. Oh, okay. so tall. Congrats. Uh, taller than I thought. Me, taller than I thought. Let Kuko, me apologize. Kuko from the, the Euros. Sasha Vucevic. Yeah. Um, who else? Um, How tall do you think Tony Kukoc is? 6'9". See, that's what I said. I How tall do you think? Yeah, 6'9", 6'10". 6'11". Really? Yeah. Yeah. DJ didn't want he's, to believe me. He's smooth. Yeah. yeah. Um, should we talk? Should we start with pairings? Go right into sure. it? Yeah. We're kind of... We're, finally, we finally have something to talk about on the golf side. Exactly. Right? We are rolling right into uh, this straight from the opening ceremonies. So, I don't know what to do with this, right? Because the U.S. team picked these six guys that I wanted them to pick. And they sent out the exact pairings that I would want them to. So if they lose this Ryder Cup, you got to wear this. I'm in a really yeah. tough personal spot. indictment. Yeah, kind of in know. that JT Spieth. Yeah, like you so know what we were talking about yes. last night. You, yeah, you, you want, want the ball. You want Listen. the ball. Well, then you got to you got to be okay I, taking the taking it on the, on the chin when it doesn't go your way. I will I, I will own that. You have my okay. word right here. I'd Is, love to see them get run out of the gym. We know that tomorrow. No, but like to the point. And actually, <laughs> well-worn we're, territory. We're, we were having lunch with Andy and Brendan. And you're saying the same thing. Rival like, like the best, the best possible scenario is them just getting the shit beat out of them, and it's like everybody's turning the gun on everybody. I, and I, it's, I think that's the most compelling thing about this. I, I'm with you in that. I'm still rooting for the U.S. I hope the U.S. Hope the U.S. wins it. But like I there's could, no Tom Watson bogeyman. In that I, I'm very curious to see. It's very kumbaya. We got new blood. We got a new system. We're we're ready to go. You know, nobody beats us 17 times in a row. Very, kind of vibe out there. I'm. I'm curious to see when the guns turn. How quickly it they they wave the white flag. I would say though, I would adjust what is compelling to say yes if they get the doors blown off tomorrow, but then they they come back on Sunday, right? I, I, I want to see him face some. Well, adversity. no, because I've seen that movie before where they get their doors blown off and then they kind of come back and it looks like and it might it's be not close, as bad as and then they lose by four. We we've already seen that. Yeah, but what if they win by three? You know, well, listen, that'd be. I'd also be like cool, to see right? them totally like get out to a running start. That's the movie three that came one out with the in the morning, and then it's yes. you know it's uh, it's six two after the first day. Europe claws back Saturday, and then you know complete comeback Cinderella story on Sunday in singles. Uh, you know, and it and it's just a it's a strokes gained masterpiece from the Europeans, right? <laughs> I don't even I know no, I don't know what to do with any of that. Like, that makes, <laughs> well, no, you totally know just laid out the case that I had for the U.S. but for the Euros. You just yeah, makes sense because that's what you're rooting for. You just described like the three only three things that could happen for the Europeans to win. But I guess what we're, we're all rooting for is it's either back and forth and very interesting because the lead is changing, or it's the U.S. the favorite getting their doors blown off. Yeah, those are anything. If it's just the U.S. kind of gradually ahead, almost like. It what the boring. data is telling us, like the strokes gain, they're just going to be a little bit better all Which three I, days. Then that wouldn't be very compelling. Well, let's get into the matches because I think uh, I think Europe also put out, uh, apart from maybe the Fitzpatrick Westwood team, which we can talk about, uh, TC can talk <laughs> about specifically. Europe did some things different than I thought they would. They did, but I I don't know. I like their teams. I well, like what they threw out, and I think it's it doesn't it doesn't. There's a couple bare knuckle brawls out yeah, there. Yeah, it doesn't smell like a blowout either way tomorrow. So they got five dudes that I think are their horses. What I would say, like Rom, Sergio, Hovland, Casey, and Rory are like the five dudes that I think are just like no question marks. You're saying Casey's a Casey's a horse? I, absolutely. Come on, Casey. Yeah, I think he's a very good golfer. He's in the he's in the stable. Yeah, for sure. So I thought what they would do, <laughs> they have done in the past, is like send out a guy like Rom or someone with a like a rookie, like kind of say we're taking our stars and we're going to divide them up. But they went with two. Superstar pairings, Rom and Sergio, Hovland and Casey are the first two guys out. And then they threw Westy and Fitz together, which that surprised me. That, yeah. that I don't, I don't, of course, famous last words. I don't want to say it feels like a sacrifice, official lamb in front of Kepkin Berger's feet. But like, if I'm team, that's going to be the biggest odds difference on paper. For I feel sure. like with Europe, the, like I look at this and all right, maybe it's three, two or, uh, or like two and a half, one and a half, or like, I don't think it's a, a three and a half 
half point or something like that. Like I think it's it feels somewhat close tomorrow any way you slice it. Yeah, I agree. Right? And and I even I mean this is classic fence sitting waffling here, but I mean Westwood Fitzpatrick Fitzpatrick uh, we're getting reports from uh, you know Evanston uh, all the Northwestern alums. Uh, Coach, Coach, Fitz, Coach Fitzgerald. Exactly. He weighed in, I'm sure. Uh, what we're Mike Wilbon. Everybody, <laughs> everybody from Medill. The Medill School is reporting this. So you know, as a Medill grad, you know it's it's official. But uh, Fitzpatrick absolutely flushing the ball out there, the likes of which we haven't seen possibly since Harris English. You know how long we've, we've been there way too long because I've heard people be like, oh, yeah, he's sitting there great. I've heard people be like, yeah, Fitz is really strong out there. <laughs> which is the, the – like that's what happens when you're going to see – Two and a half golf shots yes. over the whole course of a day. I will say, I mean, I saw, dude, he walked past me and he was he sneezed. I think he might be off. On the on the <laughs> flip side, like I have not heard a single person say Haddon. Yeah, yeah, I've heard some <laughs> tough, tough stuff. Which like honestly worries me more. I, he yeah. topped a ball today, I guess. Oh, really? really? Yeah. yeah. I, they made. Yeah. They, yeah, he really like, it sounds like it was a uneven lie which is a compelling which is compelling content <laughs> yeah, that's right. so that way. could be the that could make him the MVP but for the wrong reason. Where I was going to go with that, the spark is. Like Westwood and Fitzpatrick is obviously not their strongest team, but also it's foursomes. It's all shot. It's one of those things. It's like, man, if you get any kind of gnarly weather, if you get, you know, just going and shooting one, two under as a foursomes team, like you can win a full point. Yeah. Right. And so if they play steady and they make some putts, who knows? But I have the odds if you want to get for each match. I do. If you'd like um, the can we first, guess? Match, first match out. Sure. JT and Spieth versus Rom and Sergio. What do you think? JT of course, Spieth are minus 120. Uh, uh, I think Rom and Sergio are favored there. I think I was going to say probably pretty close to even. The JT and Spieth are minus 115. Rom, Sergio, yeah. minus 105. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Dustin Johnson and Colin Morikawa versus Paul Casey and Victor Hovland in match two. Dude, I think I would take the Euros in that one. No, I, I think can't. that's I think that's even money. I got I got DJ and Morikawa. DJ and Morikawa minus one twenty, and then even money plus one hundred for Casey and Hovland. Okay, you heard a lot of Dogs. chatter about Morikawa's back, and you know he's he does not he's, looking I great. great. I think that Morikawa. The reports have been that he's totally fine and healthy now. Okay. So. Um, third match: Kepka and Berger against Westwood and Fitzpatrick. Minus three hundred. <laughs> yeah, this feels like a. Uh, it's closer than you think. Kepka and Berger minus, minus one fifty. It could be like it's, it's like a. It's like an FSU trap game. They lost to Jacksonville <laughs> State a, a couple great weeks ago, season, right? This <laughs> does feel like a trap game where yeah, exactly. those two guys come out, those two, first two pairings come out, and it's like their, you know, their horses are winning, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it's like, oh shit! Like Westwood and Fitz were supposed to be the, you yeah, know, the, the, the sacrifice, pushovers. and they're they're two up. They're the one double A school, yeah, paid like, to come and in. That's where I feel like it's upset. City. Well, and that's where I feel like Brooks turns into, you know. I'm, okay, cool. Oh, I guess we lost. I don't fucking care. Right. Just fucking old shot. I'll play my own ball. <laughs> Keep these fucking clowns on myself. Oh, you guys care about this? Uh, I do like the Brooks and, and Burger team. I think it's compelling. Uh, last match, Cantley and Shoffley against Rory and Poulter. I'm really, really, really excited. Yeah, that's, that's a one. really yeah. great fire and ice matchup right there. I I, I've got Cantley and Xander. Xander. And Cantley got to be favored fairly heavily, minus I would think. 200? Minus, minus 130. Okay, and then yeah. Rory and Poulter are plus one ten. I'm going Rory and Poulter there all day long. I think that's huge upset. That would be plus one ten. That's, <laughs> that's insane odds. TC got absolutely farted on by uh, the uh, <laughs> Sky Sports people today as we were trying to. I did Tell a us hit. about your hit. We did a, a live hit on uh, Sky Sports TV. We're hitting. We're we're full time hitters of today. Uh, it was just Tron's laying out this whole compelling case about you know I'm, it's against the odds. I'm rooting for Europe and Jamie Weir friend of the program was like yeah you know i mean they've, well, they've won like nine of the last 12 like it doesn't sound like you're you're out on that big of a limb here like, <laughs> congratulations on all the adversity you faced what are the odds overall have I they changed at all they have changed a little bit um more in favor of the u.s i saw also minus 215 for u.s uh plus 240 for europe and plus 1200 for a tie all right they're an underdog God, they're a gonna, dog people, people, people so want to you know and, and they're partly dogs because people are morons people are sheep people are people are are slaves to the strokes gained metrics. You have a complex going on with strokes. <laughs> you really here. do. It's, like, it's a lot of like, you know, 
snowed in my house. I don't know about <laughs> I don't know about this climate change stuff. I sure could use a little bit of that global warming over here. That's yeah. kind of what your strokes gain uh, bias has reminded me of here. We're talking small sample sizes. We're talking totally different. You know, you were dog and poultry. These are all geological night shifts night. we're talking DC, about. You can't man. measure heart <laughs> intangible. <laughs> Come on, guys, call Speaking for the ball. Which, you kidding me? These euros play together, man. <laughs> Speaking of which, Chez should be an assistant captain. Chez should. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for Europe. That would no, be I mean, you, you should hard be happy concert. he's not for the U.S. They'd be playing so hard out there. And he's going to lose his job to him. We're sitting on the pod last night, and Solly's been downgrading Poulter's <laughs> match play record or Ryder Cup record. Poulter's like 46 and 15, like lifetime in match play as a professional. In team competitions and well, WGC, yeah. that's pretty substantial. I think we're at, I think you would agree we're at the, the sunset of that career, though. Totally. So but I he's don't... also, like, he's had a pretty decent of course. Last, oh, he's like it. the match play dude. He's won yeah. the WGC twice, right? Like yeah. it's not his. I'm not dogging his match play record. I'm dogging like, hey, at that golf course at this age, when you haven't really had that great of a year, like yeah, I'm probably. Down. I'm not like leaning Some whiffs of uh, big daddy. The number. He's just, he's, TC, he's you were also like, I, I listened to the pod this morning. <laughs> you were like, yeah, I'm not riding for Poulter at all. And now you're riding for Poulter. <laughs> like, come on. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm grab my feet on Poulter's couch. <laughs> I'm not riding against him though either. I'm, I am riding for Weisberger. I think Weisberger is going to be a, a four ball savant out there. Okay. But I, I, you you heard you, it here first. Do you have anything to support that? Or Absolutely not. Okay. No, it's, I'm just, fine with that. A gut. Yeah, it's just a gut feeling. I think Berger, I like Berger. I like Lowry. I like uh, Weisberger. Hold on. Let's go back, though, to because we, we called out the odds, but on the four pairings. Make, make a pick. Make a pick. Oh. So JT, Spieth, Rom, Sergio. I'm going Team Tapas. <laughs> Spaniards, Ta- tapas, yeah, or tapas. So the American team, <laughs> so the American team, yeah, the team that would pronounce it tapas. <laughs> team tapas. Uh, I'm going with the Spaniards. They call them they they call them Spaniards. Somebody made this a really interesting point earlier. They said they, they should There's be a like, lot of Heather out there. It should be to, uh, Florida versus like Florida versus the rest of the world. Team that's Florida what I was saying. Yeah, team, team, team tomato, U.S. versus Team Florida. Tomato, tomato. Yeah, you got all these, tapas, all these Europeans tapas. who live in Florida playing the PJ Tour. Yeah, Team USA versus uh, Team Florida. First one, I'm going. Years. I'm going Team Team Pinchos, the Spaniards. They well call played. them Spaniard. Team Hamon. I, I I can't pick the U.S. and not pick Speed JT in that match. That's uh, kind of how I feel. It, it feels like I, I'm going to be patient. I'm going to I'm going to make this pro- this promise now. Like Europe could go three one in the morning, and I will not panic. I'll be totally fine. Yeah, I'm trying to make these unbiased picks. Like yeah. what I think. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I can see Rom and Sergio coming out. Like that's a talented. It's a great team. Team right there. I think they. Sergio allegedly not, shot the course record at Austin Golf Club last week. And I can see. It. I can see. Spieth and JT, though I'm rooting for the U.S., getting off to a slow start you because see that they've been, you know, all LFG all week. Maybe it's like, oh, crap, man, we're not playing that well. See, my concern would be Spieth and JT coming out, digging, Dukes of Hazard, getting it, <laughs> and then completely, like, using up too much energy on that and wearing themselves out, pumping the crowd all morning. Losing in the afternoon. And then he sends them out again in the afternoon. Shout out Tom Watson. And it, you know, it's like, oh my god, we're, we're, we're kind of exhausted, dude. I, I mean, they're young. I think they'll be all right. I don't know. I feel like I feel like that would it would it's be kind lady. of an own goal to like wear yourself out getting the crowd riled. I do think. Uh, I mean, Neil had a good point today. Like, it's a little bit muted out there. It is the weather. How far dude, you step back? You were talking about it a couple days ago too. It's it's it's, so it's saying, a big it, ballpark. The wind. Yeah, you can't. It's hard to when you can't hear anything else from around the golf course. All you can hear is wind, and there's it, gonna be a it's shitload of wind. It's a, it's almost like someone going shh constantly yeah. all day in your ear, yes. like stop talking. And it has like a building effect where it's like there was an, a hazel team. There was a natural like inclination to cheer and chant, and people were just doing it right. Now the hurdle to like get over that is even bigger. You almost have to like force yourself into the chants and stuff. And I, yeah. I know it's practice rounds, but dude, the practice rounds at hazel team were lit. Like it was. Like people going back and forth. I know the European fans kind of help drive some of that too, and it's it's usually good natured banter. But like, but this was dead couple days of practice rounds as far as the crowd interaction. Uh, like, well, LFG everybody's Asia, everybody's also worried about getting got out there. Like, that's yeah. what, dude, head on a swivel, I'll, trying to like 
focused on where they're walking. Truly, it's everybody's head is like legitimately. Down. It sounds so stupid for anybody who's never been here. That is a legit factor. Yes. You know what I was like, I, I did not enjoy walking out, like walking around out there because I'm trying not to fucking fall down. I'll tell you what I was related fell. to. Did you? You fell? Yeah, it's, fell. it's like so it's two for Sally, one for you. Did you fall? <laughs> no, I didn't. It's I didn't like fall slam ball. Poor, well, Neil wore cleats. I wore cleats. Okay. I wore golf like. Very, very. No, they were they were helping him like no, they're, they're metal spikes. The it's like no. it's like <laughs> slam ball. Though, click, like, click. like there's gonna be so many torn ACLs, blown up meniscus, uh, or menisci. Think of all the athletes that blew out their shit, and that's just from Kepka tackling people. <laughs> yeah, it's. Well, I hope the fans don't yeah. go at his knees. I know. I know. You got you got to keep your head on a swivel out there. Um, Before we get any further here, I'm um, taking JT and speed. I don't okay. Well, we're gonna get some matches, and we're gonna get some afternoon. Uh, stuff as well because somebody that's gonna be playing in the afternoon hits it very far. Scotty Scheffler, would you guys like an extra thirty yards off the tee? Sure. Do you know where I'm going with this yet? You can have wedges into tough par fours at your home course. The stack system may be the solution you're looking for. The stack system provides speed training for golfers by pairing precision hardware as a single club configurable into thirty unique weight combinations with an industry changing training app. The Stack app acts as a personal trainer with customized speed programs that dynamically change on the golfer's performance while also guiding workouts and recording key training metrics. So think like Peloton for speed training. And get this, you can even talk your swing speed into the app while training using the voice entry feature. So you don't have to go and type it all in. You just say what it was into the app as you actually do it. That's uh, some pretty avant-garde shit. <laughs> your, your whole session can be done hands-free or wearing iPods. It cheers for you when you set a PR. I don't know if it yells 208 at you <laughs> right before you go hit See one. the table. <laughs> See the table. <laughs> have to get Starting a look at defense. It. it was created by a leading golf biochemist, Dr. Sasha McKenzie, and the vice president of fitting and performance at Ping, Marty Jertson. These two guys aren't P just PhDs. Marty, great player in his own right. right. Guy absolutely beats up the PGA, <laughs> the PGA uh, section. Yeah. They're not just PhDs and engineers. Sasha is also a two-time defending club champion at his course, and Marty has played in six major championships. The experts, what are they saying? Chris Como, coach of the longest hitter in PGA Tour history, Bryson DeChambeau says the stack is by far the best speed training system available. It's the easiest way for golfers to reach their speed potential. So join the dozens of tour players and thousands of amateur players that continue to set new personal best by training with the stack. If you're not getting faster, you are getting past. So check it out. The stack system.com use code. No laying up all one word to save 10% at checkout. Again, the stack system.com code. No laying up 10% at checkout. Can I tell you something? I have not heard that ad read before. It was compelling. You're halfway through. I'm like, man, you know what? That's interesting. I love, love to see Brandy. Yes. Get, into the stack. That would be such an interesting. Well, I think 2022. Can... Like, I know. all right, we say, Randy, hey, your swing speed is 78 miles an hour right now. <laughs> Need him to buy in, but I would love that. I we gotta get you up above. I here. think they could change his body. I don't think they could change his mind. Yeah, unfortunately. Is there any tilting going on in this? There's That's no true. Tilt. It's all only stack. stack. All okay. stack, no tilt. <laughs> okay. Okay. It good. Okay. Interesting. Um, do we do we all make our picks for match one? I'm, I'm going yeah, to I'm I'm go with a draw. Okay. TC's going That's with a draw. That's very fair of you. I appreciate reaching across. <laughs> no, I'm, yeah. I'm with TC. I'm going with a draw. Don't I'm leave me hanging. Oh, oh you got yourself a goddamn yeah. deal. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a compelling match. I think it's going to be – I think it's going the distance. I think it's going to be That's the one, right? I mean, yeah. that's the one I'm going to go try to follow. I think that's the key – the on-paper match of the day. So, uh, match two, DJ Morikawa versus Who, who hits the first shot, JT or Speed? I would bet that it's JT. I think so, too. I think JT goes but off. I think it's all based on holes, right? So, right. So my theory. How do the par threes line up? Three par threes are our odds. Yeah. And the three par fives are three, even. seven, seventeen. Yes. And twelve is a is the other one. So Can I ask a really dumb JT question? JT hitting sure. so that speed is hitting the birdie putts on the par threes. It's right? not a. It's it, we're not talking like true alt shot. It's it's, it's holes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Okay. So. If, you know what, TC? If you have that question, someone else in the class probably has the same sounds, question. Which I just I'm learned trying, this. I'm trying to look out for the people. Too, man. There's a Golf Digest article. You can trade ball. You can use balls off different, like the odds and evens. So they're, they would you would typically do it so that isn't that what Zinger got in trouble for, right? Well, the rule was from uh, yes, Steve, Steve Blesser. He messed yes. it up. He played. <laughs> yeah. They did the wrong order. So you want to have your own ball be the one you play into the green. So when Speed tees off, I think they use the same ball. But when Speed tees off. He's going to use JT's ball because that's what you want hitting into the green. Off the tee, it doesn't really matter that much. Was Phil's quote in the Golf Digest article? But you want your own ball when you hit it into mm -hmm. the green. Which they're both titles guys. I wonder if they play the same ball. I think they do. But uh, for other pairings, that, yeah. that you know, I think like Dustin Johnson and Colin Morikawa play a different spin ball. But okay. they would 
in theory, you would have whoever hits the approach shot in is that's the ball you would play. I didn't really even in odd holes. Think about the. Sorry, we can get. I was thinking manufacturers. I didn't really break it down by that. Oh yeah, yeah. The foursomes is big with that profiles for sure. Yeah. Manufacturer does not mean you play the same. So JT ball. and Spieth both play Titleist. Uh, Berger and Brooks. Brooks doesn't have a deal, but I think plays Titleist. I think so. I think Berger plays Berger's always, TaylorMade. Can't Berger's Berger's always play. going all around with stuff. I think okay. Berger plays Can't Titleist. Titleist, and Titleist ball. Xander's okay. playing Chrome Soft. Can't land, yeah, they play different spin profiles right. too. So that would be yeah. uh, that rule. I, I just didn't know that until Xander's playing too. the LS. No, he plays the Chrome Soft deck. The X, yeah, yeah. Um, so it, it's that's interesting. So I think what's going to happen with JT going off the odds would be he, he, trying to manu- like trying to work through his being strokes gain approach play being one of the best on the U.S. team and giving speed more birdie looks. Yeah, would be the idea, right? Because that would mean speed is probably putting for birdie on the par fives um no that would be jt speed would be potentially playing for eagle on the par fives uh which the- you kind of blew me away thinking I, I have always pictured jt being way longer than speed it's not like that wasn't totally the case i think he is longer like on paper but uh, the few holes that i it's watched almost they're in the same ballpark yeah, yeah i think he's ballpark. also like jt leaves more in the tank yeah right i, I think the from a ball perspective like rory and poulter it's cool when you have your phone like that. You one. say from a ball from a ball, perspective, <laughs> from a ball perspective. Listen, that's fair. Okay, uh, I think I think Rory and Poulter, like Rory, would seem like one of these guys that gets spooked by playing another ball or you know variables being introduced like that. They played all. They played all together in 2018, though in France. I think I don't know. It, Rory's playing new equipment though since since then, right? Uh, no, he was on. He was he was seeing okay. at that point. Um, so, all right. So, second match: DJ Morikawa versus Hovland and Casey. I've got the Americans here. I like the Americans. I, I think DJ so I think, Morikawa. I know I was dogging DJ and team play. You, you better like the Americans here. You better be riding after DJ. your no, DJ. I'm after going your... way in on Hovland, man. Oh, dude. wow! Not putting your money where well, you're not. I, I think DJ. I told you. I think I think Morikawa might be damaged goods right now. Mm, don't like that. DJ is getting saddled with another loser. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> the Champion can't, golfer of the year can't be his fault. Morikawa's bunting it out there. <laughs> god, they need to fly in Kucher. Oh, see, see if see if Kucher's available. Play, Get him uh, out there with DJ. Similar similar ball flight. Yeah, they both play cut. Yeah, and yeah. It just feels like. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes Morikawa feels like mini DJ, just the way he strikes. Like they, oh, that's that's how Tong Lee. <laughs> oh, fair enough. <laughs> I think it's gonna be an absolute like ball hitter party out there. Yeah, that's like, gonna be a good match yeah. too. I, I those guys are ball hitters. I, I said that in the. Uh, <laughs> you like that one? Yeah. Uh, I said that in the <laughs> newsletter today too. I think, but that we talked about JT Spieth, and I think a lot hinges on them, and I think they have the chance to pump a lot of juice and a lot of energy into it. This is an important match, though. I think yeah. Morikawa and yeah. DJ is a sneaky, important pairing, right? Where it's like, those guys, if they click, could be fucking mm-hmm. unstoppable. Yes. Right? And if they get bit, I believe I said if they get bit by the injury and the, the DGAF bug, uh, it could be... <laughs> or the <laughs> really kind of or the short scene. putts bug. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What hey, DJ is short putts bug. Elite could. putter, though. In all levels of putting. Yeah. I kind of like I like watch kinda DJ's like, lag putting tomorrow. Oh, Guy, he's the best lag. Putter. He's the best lag putter of all time. I kind of like Morikawa putting in an environment like this, like when like at Burke or sorry yes. at St. George's, which totally. was like a little bit of elements going on, and it was just not like Dude, he didn't pristine miss ladder screen, not pristine PGA Tour greens. Like that's what he seems to really struggle on. Whereas you know some of the weirder greens, just a little bit funkier, a little more like more variables in there. I feel like he puts less pressure. I, I totally have so baked. weird as a bad putter. Well, I was going to say you would that, think like 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 I'm a bad putter. Or just stroke wise and fast greens are like like my savior because my sh- my it, i can shorten my stroke and it's it's just a lot more cerebral versus it's it's, it's a lot more stroke based on on slower greens well, for me. extremely half baked here but i wonder if some of that is growing up on poana could be for morikawa where yeah. like one of my favorite quotes of all time i think it was xander Either coincidentally, it was, it was either Xander. Xander or Cantlay. It was Xander. I think it was Xander. Yeah. It was talking about how Poana is an attitude grass. And basically, if you're standing over it and you think you're going to miss, or you think you're like, oh, dude, I'm just going to hit the wrong bump. And like, you're, yeah, you're going to miss. You're not going to make it. Whereas, like, that's almost what Morikawa, that's almost how he looked. Uh, Without a visitor. I told him to come in. Oh, hey. <laughs> Dude, Kyle Porter oh, in the house. Oh, 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 another, <laughs> another member of the Strokes Gain Cabal. Uh, <laughs> No, I think Morikawa, it's almost like a, that's how he looked at St. George's, right? Where it was just kind of like, all right, cool. I know I'm, I'm going to ram this in and like, there's, there's not really another way this is going to go. 
<laughs> Porter, how are you, man? Give me your uh, biggest takeaway from today. What, what have you thought of the last 30 minutes of what we've talked about here? <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> I think my biggest takeaway is Jimmy Walker missed out on, on being at this Ryder Cup. He could have set up the RV right next to you. Oh, that's and, a good point. And, uh, a lot of those guys are RV. Like ZJ's an RV guy now, too, right? Jason and Day. Bubba. Jason, Jason Day, Day, I'm surprised he's not eligible for the U.S. team. Um, he's like an honorary American at this point. Oh, that's true. That's a good point. What, what do you think of the outfits, by the way? At the, did you go to the opening ceremonies? Uh, no, okay, no, I watched it. I, I screenshotted it in the media center. <laughs> I think, I think you're out there on the fox hunt right now. Harris English with like uh multiple Roman numerals in his in his last name. <laughs> I mean, that was like like his grandfather's a billionaire for sure. Harry the that, sixth, that's what it looked like. The, the tweed was his. It was, it, it was it was an interesting color of tweet as well. Yeah, a lot of a lot of brown in there. Rob Riggle was a, was a choice as well. That was uh, <laughs> what a what a what a aggressive beard. Yeah, it was like a Darren Clark style beard. He looks like uh, he looks like uh, ship shipneck's been out in the woods for like too long. <laughs> That's what Rob Riggle looked like. Well, I didn't realize he was a Marine. Shipwreck. I mean, who Rob Cody? I couldn't believe Shipwreck. it. <laughs> That's a Justin Reed quote, of course. Yeah, interesting. Um, You're good. So we're, huh? My boy, yeah, that's right. Who you got? Go DJ ahead. Morikawa versus Hovland and Casey. Who you got? Uh, DJ Morikawa fit together so well, like maybe, just, maybe too well. Just their style, but Casey and Casey and Hovland are two of the, I mean, Strokes gain two of the three best guys this year. <laughs> so for, on on Europe's side, mm-hmm. um, I think I might go Hovland and Casey. I think Hovland, I think flipping it on your ass. I think Hovland's gonna have a big week. I could see that easily. I, I are you surprised that? Europe went with kind of like two mega teams, like combining R- Rom Sergio. Yeah, but wouldn't wouldn't the wouldn't the choice there have been been to go Hovland Rory if you wanted to go two mega teams? To me, they kind of split up Hob, uh, they split up Hovland and put him with Casey and put Rory with Poulter, and then so they kind of create instead of creating two mega teams, they had the the, the Spain hmm. and then kind of two lesser. They they created three teams, like they didn't completely s- split up the talent. They had, Three teams instead of two when they could have split them up and done you know four teams and weak and strong but instead it's like three teams and then they'll kind of they'll kind of figure it out with that the thing i that, the uh, thing i don't understand is your boy fitzy getting uh getting the nod today i was talking with andy andy johnson on fried egg today and he was like what's the worst pairing you can come up with on <laughs> which kind of means serious <laughs> but also weird. He, he's uh he's usually so optimistic about everything <laughs> And I think I said uh, Westwood Fitzpatrick. I mean, what? I, I don't. I, I think don't... it's probably. I think it's probably like Westwood Hatton at this point, right? Yeah, Hatton apparently is off the planet. But um, so the only thing I'll say about the, and I don't know if we're transitioning into it now, but the the Westwood Fitzpatrick pairing is. It sounds like from what we've heard, everybody's going to play every day, right? So it's not like so everybody's going to yeah. play at least three matches and everybody it and sounds like he's playing five well that's certainly Allegedly. some rumblings which i don't know if i'd buy it seems either. like rom has to go five it seems like rory has to go five Podrick's throwing up a lot a lot a lot of smoke screens yeah so so Sergio kind of play five. yeah so what i'm getting at there is if the i i would like believe that the bottom level one is true and that everybody's going to play every day so it's like well if everybody's going to play every day you, you need to put fitzpatrick and westwood in foursomes and I don't really love breaking up any of those other teams. So it is almost like a roll of the dice, right? Of like, which this is where they're going to fit and hope for the best. So a lot of people were saying Europe in 2018, like kind of rope a doped the U.S. into like sending out like their top guns in the morning for four ball and then rolled into four horses in the afternoon. That's where Europe just wiped the slate clean because U.S.'s pairings like looked like they made a lot of sense in the morning. But then like when they had to rotate in the B squad, it was a lot of dudes out there that were just like, well, how did you come up with that pairing? And I kind of wonder if Europe is like kind of putting the big guns out in the morning. And when you look at how they're going to line it up in the afternoon, if everyone's going to play, like U.S., no matter what, is going to have a nice slate in the afternoon. Unless they're going to go big on the horses. And, you know, like if they're going to sit Wiesberger, if they're going to sit Hatton for the whole day, that's it. There it goes again, just shitting on Wiesberger. That changes the whole thing. I mean, I really do think so. I, I think the morning could go either way, but I, I would be very surprised if the U.S. lost four ball. I would be very surprised if Europe didn't play – Rom, Rory, Hovland, and Sergio all five. I, I don't I don't know how you can sit. I don't know how you can sit Hovland, Rom, or Sergio. I think Rory maybe you, you sit. What about Casey? 
like I'm not playing Casey. I'd rather have I mean, Casey like, feels like he like if you're looking at the last couple of years, feels like he's a better player than Sergio. At like, the end of the day, though, I think you know he's probably got some sort of metrics or some sort of analysis going about energy levels and stuff like Dude, that, yeah. like three days in a row or like looking at tea time waves. And you would think, I think Casey could sit a four it's ball. It's probably like, right? I mean, he wants these guys fresh for singles, right? That's what I, I don't like. Sergio's in his forties, right? You, I don't see all five on that golf course, but there's going to be some elements. So many birdies. Though. It does. You have like, to have him in Paul Casey's well, maybe sits though, foursomes, too, at, you know, foursomes on Saturday. Four, morning. Not even four. Yeah. Um, I, it, I don't know. I, I, I really am curious what Europe's going to do. And, and I, I, I do think a a bad thing the, of their big five, two of them been, being in their forties, kind of limits what they can do. I don't see Rom and I, or I'm sorry, I don't see Sergio and I don't see Casey going. I, I think people are underestimating though, like Scotty Shuffler's in his forties. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> people forget. Uh, Sergio's played, I think, forty one of forty four possible sessions over the course of his career. He's only sat in three sessions. And Rory's never sat. And Rory's right? never sat. So I, I just isn't this golf Rory's course a never little, sat? Isn't this 20, golf twenty four or twenty four? Isn't they had that they had that weird session in uh, 2010 where they where it got rained out. That's a crazy they, stat. Yeah, isn't this golf course different though? Like playing in the elements and a, a little bit more difficult walk is different than doing this in Hazeltine in, in 72 degrees and easy grass walks in between holes and like the, the stadium golf. Well, we were also like climbing mountains today. Hazeltine. That's, that's what I was gonna say. If they the had Hazel to walk outside walk. the ropes, <laughs> no <laughs> chance. And, right. No chance. And the yeah, and the wind in your ears. Exactly. Just, just, who you got Low in the first drum. match? Uh, I mean, I picked the U.S. to win seventeen eleven, so I got to you got to get some. You got to get some. You got to get a lead. I think, I think JT speed. Sergio Rom are just nasty though. That's terrifying. That's, that's nasty. Like nasty Spanish. But I've also <laughs> heard those two don't get along that much, and like. Uh, it was. I mentioned that like, oh, I could see those two getting paired, and someone on the British side was like, oh no, those two guys don't like each other. And of course, they are paired. But I have heard that there's you know not a great relationship there. But who knows? Europe is famous for their bonding. It's the, well, it's it's the legend of Steve Steve Bolestros. Right? <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta bond over Stevie. <laughs> Sergio's Sir, Sir, been so good. God, the last... TC, the Euros aren't gonna know what to do with you on their team. You just Ru, I saw Rue McDonald. He said. Shame on you! Like, get the hell out of yeah. here. They don't, want you, they don't want you either. You're just <laughs> disgracing Sammy here, but you're rooting yeah. for the Euros. No, I said, I've, you know, you, you could have said that to me five or six years ago. I think I proved my bone fides though. Man, but See, no TC country. compared himself to Kim.com last night. I think that's kind of <laughs> becoming more and more without a country. Exactly. It's just I gotta go to New it. Zealand or yeah, Hong I, Kong or he's something. too far ahead of his time. Question: Yeah, do they get through the first hole tomorrow without a mention of Sebi? Not even telecast. Do they get to the first? Shot hit. No. no. Okay. Oh, fuck no. Okay. No, that will be headline one A. I do. I, I want to. He's say literally the number one player in the world, that, and one of the best Ryder Cup players of all time. Does There's Europe, no way those two will be the focus of does that. Europe come tomorrow. out with the word Sevy on the back of their shirts tomorrow. There might be some sky riders out there too that <laughs> ride it with the planes. I, uh, I want to go back to DJ Morikawa for a second though, because I think that's it. There's an interesting chemistry there of DJ. I guess what I was saying earlier. I said mini. More Kyle feels like mini DJ. I feel like better way to say that would be like younger brother. Like same, you know, they're both playing tailor made stuff. They, and and More Kyle seems like a very jolly guy. Like Let he me, feels like he would be. He's not like hype. They're like two of the most I'm gonna, opposite people I'm you gonna, could ever imagine. I'm gonna push back on that. <laughs> no, yeah. but like let me lay out a couple Kawa, things. East Coast, West Coast. Okay. Can come, you come to death row? Yeah, come Coastal, to death row. Coastal Carolina versus Cal. Sure. <laughs> the hot school. Uh, I think you, the, I just want you to picture just for a second, uh, like you're going through the line, getting a hot dog, getting some baked beans at the uh, the family reunion where both of those two are sure. are invited because that does okay, not maybe look like a party let me I've ever let me pictured. let me rephrase. They're both Brother, they're both slow. I would say mentor mentee potentially. Oh, okay, and totally. I would, and what I'm trying to get at before you took my analogy a little too far, but good work. Well, don't throw it out there. No, no, no good work. I appreciate okay. you. Hold me accountable. Okay. Is that uh, it's a position I, I don't think I've seen DJ in. Uh, like what we were talking about last night about how like he's been checked out and I would love to see him. He to me feels like the captain of that pairing. And I can see Morikawa having a great attitude out there. And I would love to see DJ feed off of that and be like, you know what? This is this is cool. I, I, see, I, do think I can see Morikawa energizing DJ. I that's do what think I'm it's complimentary yes. too because Morikawa is not, not a, a rah-rah guy. Rah. He's just kind of a slow simmer and he's going to get his shit done and dj's 
the same way. And, and you would think those two would feed off each other. It's not like Morikawa is trying to draw something out of DJ that's not there. They're they're like they're both just going to quietly. Yeah, yeah. And I, 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 I hope that his good attitude is like infectious for DJ. Of like, oh man, this guy's like, you know, DJ's got like the best attitude of anybody out there though, right? Like well, he I, never I, gets. I think the thing about, himself. about Morikawa that you always hear and that you've seen play out is he always takes care of his own business. And DJ doesn't have time for you if you're not taking care of your own business, right? He yeah. doesn't have time for, for Bryson screaming about stuff. He probably doesn't have time for speed hollering about stuff either. Like, <laughs> or Brooks just there, there's, you know, a, being, there's a lot of guys. Like, like, like trying to be a, a third string special teamer. That, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> there's a lot of guys that DJ just, I mean, you guys are experienced. It just doesn't have time for you. Yeah. And Morikawa is not one of them. Morikawa will take care of his business. He might ask DJ a question or whatever, but it's not – he. Did, DJ doesn't have to babysit him. Exactly. So. Like, like he did with Kucher. Oh, okay. oh my God. God. Come on. Also, the possibly, mic. Cut the mic. you know, Phil. maybe the two best suit wears on the uh, on the U.S. team as well. I, I, I still like Morikawa. Those are the two guys that are going to – Morikawa's hair, haircut's so high and tight. That's what I mean. I mean. It, is, it is great volume up top and just – Razor tight. I can just picture stuff. God the yeah, just Bryson explaining anything to DJ. It's just, oh, okay, that's cool, man. <laughs> you <laughs> you told that gone? story on the pod about yeah, inside huh? a practice round with uh, with Phil and Bryson. He was like two holes in. I was like, I'm never doing this again. Like, I got to walk on the other side of the fairway. I can't. <laughs> I can't listen to those guys talk golf. Like that is not that is not my tempo. Wow. Uh, before we go farther, weather wise. Tomorrow it looks like it's pretty docile in the morning, and then it ramps up in the afternoon, and then we've got some some thunderstorms and showers rolling in evening could, time. So could it, be a big. It could be it could be kind of diabolical uh, four ball tomorrow afternoon. Were you pissed to see the Americans slowing down the golf course with the rainstorm this afternoon? Listen, I thought it was a little chintzy. Yeah. <laughs> can we can we talk about the the supposed manipulation of whistling straights? Is there even like an ounce of it that we've seen in any way? I, I, listen, I don't I, think there's I much you can change. Let's just get ahead of this story. I don't think there's much you can change. There's, let's get ahead of this. I think this, you know, there's a distance profile that fits this course, but like for several other reasons, this is not the best home course advantage for the U.S. That's fair. I, I think it's also like it's not a, you know, everybody that's like, oh, it's a Lynx course and it feels like you're on Irish Lynx. It's not a links course. Not even remotely. It's it's a target course, and there's one option for how to play every hole. You were talking about this the other day, and like, you know, it's it's very. Uh, it looks like a links course, or you know, from a aesthetic and feeling perspective, but it's it's very technical. Yeah. Right. Can I, can I dispel something? Something weird. I was discussing with my my strokes game cabal at lunch. I think there's a massive misunderstanding on the uh, another visitor. I mean, another visitor. Hold on, let's see if we let him in or not. Mr. Vic. Oh, it's Randy. Oh, it's Randy. Oh, it's Randy. Oh, Randy. Mr. Vic. Okay, okay. yeah, Late arriving. Right. Late arriving Here, in the ball let, game. Let, him, let Randy, come on. Have a seat for yeah. me. I got to use the restroom. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Here. Hello, big. Hello. God, how is the, how how is the there, travel right, in? Guy, how are you? Watch the, the cord. Did Delta oh, take care of you? Watch the cords. Watch, watch the cords. Cord. Mike. Let's, go. Let's get you right here, bud. Watch the cords. Did Delta take care of you? Delta could not have been better, TC. I got an upgrade. From Cincinnati to Detroit, life was good today. Yeah, that's awesome. He's man. a he's a he's a Delta guy living in a United hub. I can't wait to see how long that lasts. <laughs> uh, as I was saying before, Randy so rudely interrupted me by showing up here. I think grab me a beer, by the way. I would have one as well on the top. You want a beer? Yeah, I'll take one. Welcome to Herb Roller, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Is that the yeah? It's it's the prison? No, yeah, official bottom. name. So I think there's something to be said for the whole uh, the middle pins favor the Americans thing because we're, we unpack this at lunch. We, th there's just a massive like misnomer misunderstanding. I think going on between like that doesn't favor the Americans that favors the team that's leading. Right. And so everybody talks about at Medina. Part of the issue was, okay, the U S had this massive lead. And so what they did was, you know, tuck the pins and they had all these pins and corners and everything. And so what I think that does is to basically, yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm grabbing my beer. Um, I think what that does is basically set up to favor the team, the better team on that day. And I think very clearly based on the way everything shook out, like the better team on that day was Europe. Right. And so what they did at Hazel team was Rose, a team that could pin their ears back and get yes. pins without inhibition. And so what they did at Hazel team was to put all the pins in the middle during singles. Yes. 
That's because they already had a massive lead and they were like protecting a lead. That doesn't favor the Americans. So it's not like we're going to go out there tomorrow and all the pins are going to be in the middle. And that meet like that wouldn't favor the worst team. That would allow the worst team just like very, the more you think about it, the more obvious it seems, right? Where yeah. like if the pins are in easier spots, then the differential between the good teams and the bad teams gets smaller. And so the point is like, if Europe was leading, it's situational. Yeah. Brandy, not yeah. into the Moon Man. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I've been fighting against the, no, the Moon Man Strokes Man Mafia. Oh my God! Oh, I was gonna say, what are, what are we Finally talking about? Finally, the Rose are here. So what? What's no. Up, so what I was saying is, if if we're in Paris and they they put all the pins in the middle during singles when the Europeans had a big lead, that would favor the Europeans. So I want to just dispel the pins in the middle of the greens is not an American thing. Yes. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. And also, awesome. I don't think I've said strokes gain since I've been on this property. It's well, no, don't let them. You don't said it them so many times, times in all the pre. It's all we had to talk about. What do you want to hear? Oh, Europe is just oh, a better no, I wanted, I wanted to talk about heart, and and records, spirit. Yeah. yeah. And, and experience and being in the in the cauldron. And, and I believe and we that, addressed that about I know, here's your chance. Times. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. That ship sailed. How are we? How are we? What a setting. What a bucolic. Yeah, uh, Wisconsin sunset. Is your first time here? Too. First time. What? Give me your. Uh, what do you? What are your preconceived notions about Whistling Straits? And just to update you, the live show audio is coming through that mic. So if you want to stay as close to that one as you can as well. Is but this is that. for yeah, the yeah. podcast. Yeah, there's a lot of audio going on here. It was, uh, it was pretty hostile in here before we hit live. <laughs> uh, it's fantastic. Preconceived notions. I expected it to be. Um, yeah, it's just all the pictures you see, right? It, it honestly, the course that I've been to that I that I associate with it is Arcadia Bluffs in Michigan. It's, it's, very good. it's Arcadia on the other side of the lake. Yeah, but maybe a little bit more of a big. of a big boy track. It's like it's our, it's a it's a peak guide at Arcadia. Yeah, it's, it sounds about right. Which is is good. It's a good yeah. thing for whistling straight. Probably. Yeah. Um, but this is, I mean, love, God, love Arcadia catching straight. The, out the, there. the the weather is is gorgeous, guys. To drive up, like this mm. is this is as good as it gets. It was really shitty earlier. Yeah, so. oh. yeah. You brought the good weather with you. Oh, hey. uh, <laughs> Should we get back into the pairings? Sure. <laughs> Randy, who you got Kit, in the, who oh, you got Kit, in the first yeah, match? Sorry, JT and Spieth versus Rom and Sergio. Oh my gosh, that is such a uh, that's a tone setter. Big tone setter. Team Tapas. <laughs> First team LFG. The, the or squad. Tapas, many Europeans are <laughs> no, pronouncing. Team, team Tapas. I, I, I'm going with Team Tapas. I, I hate, God, I hate small plates. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've never, this is a total, total sidebar. I've never seen Randy more pissed. <laughs> we go to like hawkers or something like that where it's just like oh, hawker, hawker so what are, are we just so we're just like splitting all this stuff like, okay, this is so fucking stupid like it's just gonna cost five times as much it's i'm just not gonna teasers. eat anything and you wouldn't never go home full no it's awful you gotta go, like go through taco bell on the way home just to feel full great on a date right all right if, yeah if you're uh, there's so, one other person yeah sorry oh god um <laughs> that's gonna be such a good matchup Th these are all news to me i haven't even heard oh, of these pairings great. before um I think I think Spieth and Thomas just buoyed by the by the Wisconsinites. I, it feels like an American win, a big tone setter Rome. there. That's Rome bias though from you. DJ Morikawa versus Hovland and Casey. Casey fucking sucks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which we're taking all sorts of flack online, people. You know, like you guys never mention Casey, or you're always negative about him. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Read between the lines. Like his teammates don't even like him. So that's just. Just go with that. I don't need to list yeah. out a, a, a full, you know, CV of what he's done or not done over the years. Right. Let me let me let me turn it. What what do we think of this? Was Colin and who'd you say? And DJ. What? what that's interesting. Greatest player of all time. That? Yeah. I, I don't mean to put you on the spot here. We have covered this one, so if, oh, yeah. if we, we may, we have oh, oh, the next um, one. I, I, are we worried about Morikawa? I think no, the Euros have to win are. this one. I, I think I think Team Euro gets this one. Kepka and Berger versus Lee Westwood and Matt Fitzpatrick. We've said this one. This one's a little bit like uh, Jacksonville State. If you know FSU pays Jacksonville State to come in, <laughs> yeah. Jacksonville State comes in and gets plucky and beats them. Yes, that's exactly it. Yeah, uh, I think Europe takes that one. I really, yeah, that could get that could get sideways on uh -huh. the Americans. What I think, I'm, I'm, I think, I think that's a friskier than you think. European team. Did well, my guy hear? TC said Fitzpatrick was flushing it. You know, well, we did cover that. We did cover <laughs> yeah. that. That report from the ground. You know what that one reminds me of is when you're going to play the team, you don't get off the bus. You're 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 playing grab ass on the bus. Exactly. You know, Brooks and and Berger are thinking, ah oh, man, we got this in the bag, and then you come out and 
you're down a couple, you know, a couple touchdowns after the first quarter, and you're like, you know, co- coaches are furious. Could be tough. Could be, you know, they got to. It's the first game of the season too, so you don't have any reps under Kepka your belt. and Berger can't, you know, can't come in lallygagging on that one. I'm not worried about that. One. How, how do you? How do you? Not reps worried out about your, it. Um, which? How you think Berger's going to do this week with this matchup? Because I think we talked about this last night, the other night. There's too much. There's way too much emphasis placed on a guy's Ryder Cup record. Seems to be all about how he plays the first day or the first three matches, and everything gets thrown out. Like, you know, the second session on Saturday and singles seem to get downplayed. Played well the first three yeah. sessions. Yeah. Right. I mean, do you agree? Like, it's like like the importance of singles seems to get washed out based on whatever else happened or what the general theme has yeah been, well it's like right? i mean when Finau just baptized fleetwood in paris uh, that, well i was gonna ask you guys like at some point you, we've got all the Finau you people you can't bring that up with tc that never the, the Finau people no I, I would say like props to Finau for from a course fit perspective like being the one to absolutely send it you know show up get it um yeah but in a word female, like wouldn't you you know you guys are such big female guys like wouldn't you send female out first at least a, t- a true tone setter a, a tone setter <laughs> a, a big tone he, setter. i bet he you may go out first in the afternoon i bet bryson hits the first shot in the afternoon i bet that's the uh the four ball pairing they send out first i i, I we'll get to the afternoon i'm in i'm i'm in on bryson tomorrow i think it's gonna be a big bryson they, day. Might, they might drop slime from the from the, the nickelodeon the golfers <laughs> did you did you just rob wriggle like a hit by slime our, the our nickelodeon golfer are burger and kepka boys we didn't really talk about this we've heard some some chatter because am i the only one who thought they weren't boys yeah no at one not. point they were not. definitely not yeah. and apparently okay. that that it's been buried or they've moved on or whatnot well, or that there's just no, a couple, of, we're straight, couple yeah, of alpha, we're you know, one of the alpha Seminoles, Free Shoes University. I don't think Burger's got any alpha. I think Burger is just, I'm happy to be here, man. Let's just, no, let's I think go Ber- do it. I think Burger's like a junkyard dog. Man. No, I think on the golf course, but I don't think he, I don't think he has a big no. ego. He seems like a, he's just straight vibe. I think, he's, he's got I think more he's of like vibe. a, like a chip on his shoulder guy than he is like an ego guy. And in that's the best what, way. I think he, to but your you point, this is before Randy, Randy showed up, but I, when you were talking about, the DJ prototype, the DJ 2.0, I think it's Burger, would be a guy. I'd love to see those two together. I think the Brooks and Burger pairing is fun, and I'm, I'm, I'm ex- very excited to watch it. But uh, I can see those those two also playing well. Practice together. round wise, have they been? Has DJ and Burger been in the same? Are they the other two in that one? In the no, DJ no, it's uh, Finau and uh, English. Are okay. that one. I so. think Brooks and Burger played together at uh, Liberty National in it 20, 2017. Um, that, that didn't. I didn't watch it. <laughs> that, that's a simulation. No, my, my point earlier yeah. was about. Yeah, how... What's your point? <laughs> who are, who are you? They should. They should play that shit on a on a at like Five Iron Golf in Manhattan. You know? <laughs> I was when uh, was it? I think it was uh, Siwoo tried to try to go Patrick Reed on the. No, crowd. Honor Bond Lahiri also <laughs> yes. did a finger point down fourteen to two on Saturday. It was so sick. Yeah, I was there. It was not till July, my friend. That was there was a lot of juice it. there. It was tough on Sunday. Apparently, uh, that was the night the year the US team got drunk on Saturday night and almost gave it away in Sunday singles. They party, they celebrate on Saturday night. All right, let, let's get to the main sick. event here. Uh, Treadstone versus uh, Rory. So it's Cantlay and Shoffley versus Rory and Poulter. Randy, who you got? Oh, God, that's that's a really, really good match. I, I mean, I'm just rooting for golf. Uh, you, yeah, heard, you heard it here. Hey, listen, listen. <laughs> I'm just, just, for good sports just know shit. we've got it. We've got a member of, of Rory's inner circle here <laughs> on the payroll, you know, probably walking around with Sean all day out there today. Kyle has posted his picks to golf pass already. <laughs> <laughs> what, what a good test. Let's go. Let's go around the horn. I, 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 want, I want an answer. I'm, I'm taking Poulter McElroy. Poulter is an absolute killer. I've, I've put my eggs in this basket that Poulter's going to struggle, I think. Uh, I, I am nervous about the xander Cantley pairing. I just think it's like been assumed, and I just haven't seen a ton out of them when they played together that it has me super inspired. Um, I think that match is going to tell a lot about how this Ryder Cup is going to go, but I'm going to take Xander and Cantley. Uh, this is weird to say because uh, Poulter's who he is and Rory's who he is. I think Z- uh, Cantley is walking to that first tee with 
more swagger than either of those two guys. Mm, well, is his I'll back going to be limber? You know what I mean? Like, he, dude, he's quiet he's cold swagger. He's not, it's, yeah. it's going to be just a, a well, he has a proved he's pretty much proven operation everything. out there. For Granted, him. he's not starting 10 under tomorrow, but still, uh, <laughs> I think he, I think he has, he's pretty much showed what up. What are the pop holes? That's a good question. Does That's Poulter question. get pops? I think Poulter gets, I think he gets 16 and, okay. and five. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think, uh, I think Xander Canway will win at, Poulter is Rory's a big question mark going into this, right? Like, does what? What are we gonna? What kind of energy level? You got we frisky Rory though, where it's like there's not really the expectations, and he's not in his own head. And there's something about match play with him in these situations where I think he can play much more carefree, fearless, uninhibited because he's not worrying about making the big mistake. You just go on the next hole. Yeah, right? I, I just everybody points back to 2016. He was playing really well going right. into 2016. He had just won. The net champion, well, I guess it wasn't a net championship at the time. But, uh, he just it was won the, the gross championship. He just won the, <laughs> so gross. the FedEx Cup, and, and he was the PGA he, Tour's ultimate prize. He was playing great, uh, and he's not, he's not playing that great coming in. And I think that Poulter is, Poulter is not good right now. <laughs> like, from tee to green. He's Drugs never game. been drunk. It's, it's not good. He's... <laughs> Yeah, strokes getting heart. Randy, is a, do we have numbers on that, Randy? It, it's one round. It's one round. Maybe not even. It's Maybe not, sixteen though. holes. I, oh god. It's like thirty. It's it's twenty five shots. I'm so ready to just find Ooh. out the answer to these questions tomorrow. I can't do any more of that. Who wants to win that match more? Not oh, Rory. I just, honestly, honestly, I, think, honestly, I think can't can't lay it shoffly. Yeah, yeah honestly. big. I don't think yeah. that's the block you really? want to you want to yeah. lay your hat on. Oh, yeah. I don't. Uh, Stephen Shoffley's number one. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you got you know, you guys see that be video? honest Rory, he'd probably be like, dude, I'm a little, a little tired. You guys see that video, Stephen Shoffley, uh, yeah, sliding down the hill. That was delightful. Dude. Uh, question for you: okay. Do you think that uh, is Rory wearing a hat tomorrow? Uh, no. No, I think he does. They made him some hats. I could see him wearing a wearing a beanie. Does Cantley wear a hat? That's the question because he has not been. Wearing I think he. One. I think Cantley might go with the hoodie thing. Mm. I like that. What, what, what better? What better environment for Rory though, where he can he doesn't have to he he can get outside of himself for once. It, it's not the pressure of individual play at a major. I, I just feel like he's going to put himself. Into this, he can invest in the team. And he's I, no I longer like, the leader of the team, yeah. right? You have Rom, Rom takes you got Hovland to, to pick I up. I think slack. we get the best Rory here. I, I, I'm gonna. I will regret saying this, but we're gonna go at all this, man. <laughs> I, I, I'm not feeling Rory this week. Yeah, you definitely gonna regret that. I, I'm with you. I, I is Rory fake juice? He's. <laughs> <laughs> Is he juice or sauce? <laughs> he's, he's sizzle, no steak. His uh, his presser even earlier this week. There was no low energy. It was so, weird. So he's juice. He's Mar- not sauce. He so I kind of like that. That means he's not though. trying to fire yeah. him up, but, like fire himself up artificially early. But Rory can show up and get into it. Rory fed off the crowd last year, and the crowd. That's we were talking about before you walked in, but like the crowd is not a factor at this the point. The first tee is still going to be. Yeah. I think there's going to be a letdown. Yes. Guys are going to get all amped up on the first tee and we saw it a little bit the Solheim Cup. You get so amped on that first tee and then you get like five or six holes in and you can sustain that and then it's gonna get quiet when you get off by the water there. And like there's not like you're gonna have to like look within or get a second or third wind to to kind of buoy you. Otherwise you're just gonna give a couple of those holes right back or it, it but like the same way that Rory just like embra- like loved that environment that got him hyped. It's it's a it's just flat. It's going to be flatter out there. There's the amphitheaters around the greens are not really there, and they're set back. And it's gonna it's I I have a feeling that will play a factor. I don't know if it's going to actually affect the competition, but it's going to feel different out there. I, I want to get on record with something. Uh, we we're talking to again our our hitter Karen Stupples at the Solheim Cup, who was talking about uh, there's all these people uh, <laughs> all these people pumping up the crowd on the first tee, and she was getting texts from from unnamed players, unnamed sources. It's like, hey, does nobody realize like every single one of these people who's pumped up the crowd, well, maybe not every single one, but very, very close, has pulled it left into those bunkers. So I just want to see if that holds true on the men's side too, because I think there's going to be a lot of pumping people up. You and... think so? I think that only it's, I think it's Bryson. I don't think there's anyone in the morning that's going to Really? You don't now. think JT? I think JT will. I think they will. I don't, I don't think they will. <laughs> 100%. 
I don't, I, I don't, I don't know if Greller's going to allow it's that. It's L F G S Z N. Come on. I think, I think there's so much pent up, just like, oh, you don't, you think we don't care? You think we don't care? Look at how much we care. Like they're going to come out with that attitude and try to just punch that narrative in the I face. I thought that in 16, but like there was not many dudes that did the pump. I don't know if anyone did. Did they do it in 16? Because I, th- I thought Reed was going to for sure, and he did not. Decidedly, did not any of the rounds. I don't remember any bubble. screaming for shots in, in 16. Did anyone do the pump up in 16? I, I don't know. I I do think JT is going to like lose his mind this week. I think he's going to be just – I think he's going to play great, but also I think – I mean, he's kind of their like spiritual leader, right? right? And I think that he's going to kind of take on that – the role that Rory took on in, in at Hazeltine on the on the European side. And I, th- I think he's going to be just a – I think he's gonna be a maniac. He's the bog one. He's out of control. The spiritual leader of the U.S. That's that's provocative stuff. <laughs> so I don't I don't know what I don't remember what I said for the, uh, the 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 actual picks, but I think it'll probably my bet would be U.S. goes two and a half, one and a half in the morning, and I have a feeling they go three one in the afternoon. Well, let's talk about the yeah. afternoon quick. Yeah. So who we've got on the bench for the U.S. We've got Bryson and Harris and Scheffler. Bryson and, Scheffler's part. Oh, sorry, the Bryson and Scotty, and then Harris and Fina. Fina. Yeah. So then who sits? I think they're probably going to – I think JT and Spieth are probably going probably no matter what, and I think it's probably whoever's hotter between DJ Morikawa and Cantlay and Xander. So I got to I gotta run. I got to catch a bus. But my last point we were talking about today, the point of having – and this plays into what y'all are talking about right now. The point of having depth is not to evenly distribute all of your players, right? It's to find somebody that's hot early. You have more chances of finding somebody that's it's lottery hot, tickets, that, right? That's hot yeah. early and just riding them. Yeah. And and Europe's been way better at that. They, I mean, was Thomas Peters going to play five matches in 2016? No, doubtful. Was was Fleetwood and, and Molinari going to play five in 18? Probably not. That's why I think it's interesting that they're sitting Lowry. Yeah, early, because I think he's a guy that sit him early and then you you can ride him the next four you know four matches right. Well, I'll push back a little on that because I think in 16, the U.S. actually the did a great back. job. Like, yeah, Kepka, we'll see, Kepka sat the first session, back. and then he played the final three yeah. and went three and one. Uh, and they rode Spieth and Reed. And I mean, Snedeker yeah, was tough. sneaky good in that. Uh, I think he only actually played two matches, but I think he won two and a half points or something like that. So, I don't know. I I, uh, I, I talk myself into every possible scenario. Like that. <laughs> All right, right so, so you got to run. Yeah. You gotta run. You Thank you for coming. Great to have you. Thank you. Virtual applause. Tell Rory my Give Rory my joining us in her roller. Yeah, I'll tell him uh, I'll tell him you'll be rude. Tell him the McRib is back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Holy roller. Well, I think we're probably getting getting mother. close to wrapping this thing so, up. So so looking at so uh on the European so you got Finau, Harris English on the American side, and then Scheffler and, and DeChambeau. Yep. And then on the European side, you've got Weisberger, um Lowry, Hatton, Hatton, and who's the last Fleetwood. And Fleetwood so yeah. haven't gone. Yeah. Which I'm a little so, surprised. You talk about like being shocked to see people sit. Fleetwood sitting in opening foursomes feels weird. That feels like he's maybe doesn't have it. But then again, maybe if, if it's if it's Fleetwood, you know, if if Podrick's trying to test some guys out early, throw some things out, and then like I I've heard you know I've heard from people like Podrick's going to do some some provocative shit. I could believe that. It could be a test on how well Fitzpatrick is hitting it too. <laughs> yeah. Sure, because I think remember, that's the spot. Well, I also right? think Fitzpatrick, who's, that's the spot? who's your source on that? TC, exactly. Okay. <laughs> Podrick may TC's truly, my guy. Podrick may truly be keeping the horses in the back. He very well could. I, I don't. I don't think anyone knows what what Podrick's up to. Um, Fitzpatrick is a question mark too. And you want to talk about strokes gained heart, strokes gained motivation, all this thing. What a chip on his all shoulder! These he things has you guys, well, he's been Speaking carrying a chip. He and Hovland should play together. Well, he's been neither of them can chip. Carrying the chip around for like. Quite a few years now, right? Since was that Hazel team like, that yeah. he he didn't play nearly as much as he thought he was going to, and yeah. you know it's been a long time since twenty sixteen. TC put him tried to put him in a body bag too. Does John anybody, tried to retire him, kick him off the team. Yeah. Does yeah. anybody sit both matches? TC did That's apologize for that. Though. Possibly. That's a quite. I I which I appreciate. I could see it happen. That was a little kid's birthday party. I don't know. <laughs> I think Cheeseburger's got to sit. Right? I don't know. I, no, he, he's 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 good. He's, he's good. He's yeah. straight. We yeah. like him. Hatton's the one that everybody's we'll concerned about. about. We're gonna have a lot to react to. <laughs> but maybe they that. want those guys. It seems like those are the guys they're worried about, and maybe they want them playing their own ball to find it, like on day one potentially. Uh, maybe, is it easier to find it yeah. when you're playing your own ball yes. or playing all shots? Sometimes it's like the stranger, right? Like you're playing a. <laughs> 
you're playing a ball that's not yours, and it's like, well, shit, you know what? This is a place I haven't been in before. My theory kind of the jolts bot, you shot, back yeah, to yeah, yeah, reality, yeah, yeah, situation. My theory though is, if you're off in four ball, if you're not making birdies in four ball, you're so worthless. Whereas in yeah. foursomes, like you, you, I like, can hide it a little. You bit. just got to be yeah. not horrible, right? You got to <laughs> hit hit fairways, hit greens, but you don't need to stuff it and make birdies. Whereas, like, yeah, if you're not doing that in four ball, like, you're not really adding much value to your team. So, is Carson Bailey so, like giving them the motivational speech right now? I, I honestly refuse to look further into that because it's yeah, going to make me upset. It's, 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 I heard, I heard Michael Jordan shot a million today at uh, Pine Hills. Mm. Like, didn't break a hundred. Thank you for that. Shout out that to MJ. Things. Any, any, any other <laughs> pot potpourri? Let's go around the horn. Anything else? Anyone well, else? Tiger going to show up? I got a story. I got a story I heard today. Um, I kind of. Kind of sent uh, a little, got, gave a little, you know, the, the hairs of my arm were standing up a little bit about some, what went down. Some goose pimples? In the European team room on Monday. So that. Uh, That's when the astronaut landed. I, I, may, I may have the order of this Came wrong, but SpaceX. <laughs> I believe the story to be that the, the players hadn't seen that video yet of like how, you know, the number of players that are on the team. And so had everyone in the team room, everyone's getting like so jacked up and then they play the video of like and do the numbers. And, uh, the, then they had the rookies stand up like one by one and say like, all right, number 162, burnt beast bird or whatever it is. And like the whole room was like erupts. And those said like Shane Lowry stood up like number whatever, 163. Shane Lowry stands up. He said he looked nine feet tall in the room. <laughs> the whole room just like erupted. It was, on it was electric. Uh, and so I, I heard that story today, and I, that was a uh, just an inspiring story in the European I feel side. you. I, I, Rue was saying uh, – Last go around, McGinley wouldn't wouldn't let him do the, um, you know, didn't want to give him any bulletin board material or or post the uh, the video prior, and um, I guess Padraig's letting him throw it out there tomorrow morning, and he's like, it's one of the better videos we've ever done, which from a European tour content person is very very uh, cool to hear. We'll see how that translates on the golf course, but. Uh, I'm ready to, to get some burgers and hang. And hold uh, on, one, one thing. Some one thing. Cody's got People one thing. want to know the story of JT oh, roasting you. I got to We've missed story. it. Okay. Two pods now. I forget Fire where's the, the bib is somewhere around here. Um, You're wearing it, I think. No, it's back there. <laughs> yeah. I got it. Hold on. So the uh, the media, if you want to walk inside the roast, they give you a bib, like a red vest that is. It looks like you look like a Walmart greeter, but Target. it's in red. It's Target, yes. Or Ace Hardware. That's, that's yeah. Ask me, ask oh me where God. the pipe is. So people keep coming <laughs> yeah. up to you asking questions like, sir, oh, do you know how to get you to the merchandise tent? Like, I don't work here. <laughs> but <laughs> it's it, stuff that you ask me. You don't look cool wearing it. And so I'm standing kind of by 10T. I'm following the JT, uh, Speed, Scheffler, Bryson group. And uh, I'm, I'm away from the crowd. I'm like facing the crowd. And there's a big crowd around behind 10T. And I haven't talked to JT or anything yet. They're getting ready to tee off, and he just – I'm looking at my phone. I'm not even paying attention. And uh, he just, like, really loud, like, loud just so that all the people around here, not just me here, just like, hey, hey, man, really cool vest. Looks really cool. And I, like, I, I realize that he's that's talking sick. to me. I look up Bryson's fucking laughing at me. <laughs> like, that's, I, uh, a, that's, that's a little bit. Yeah. I, like, the, the whole crowd starts laughing under. at me. And I, I went to go respond, and I had nothing. I felt like I was back in high school, just oh, stuffed into a locker. Saw the shot, eighty six. <laughs> it was eighty eight. But, uh, <laughs> I just, it was. I got so flush face. He just got. It was a devastating blow. I haven't recovered yet. Uh, <laughs> Bryson's gonna be laughing at you in your dreams. It's pretty much looking up and seeing Bryson just grinning at me it was just. Uh, it was. It was a good way to kick off the week. So love that. Let's see. So. I mean, is, is it be better? Back. Don't worry about it. Is it I'm better or worse than the pink coming. vest from a couple of years ago? This might be a little worse because it almost so much bigger. Right? Yeah, the the vest was. Well, it like, almost looks like a fashion thing. Yeah, like, the, it almost looks like you chose to wear it. The pink vest was very much yeah, like the like bib from yeah. from elementary school right. phys ed. This is like a vest, like a Target employee. So, but not that there's anything. No, shout out to the Target. Shout out to the Target employees. Yes, and Ace Hardware. Yes. Anyways, we'll be there. That's the helpful place. Exactly. Son of a bitch, Randy. Well, you're, you're anyways, trying to unionize. We'll be on the he first team that. at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, um, screaming and yelling with everyone else there, I'm sure. And uh, Weird question that many, many people have asked me for some reason. I don't have an answer to, but many people are like, hey, the gates open at 6. What time should I get there to get a seat in the grandstands? I've never been to one of these things. I have I don't no know. idea. I, it's different for everyone, probably, and I don't know the answer to that. I don't, that's a question for... The PGA of America or a Ryder Cup. I don't. I don't want to answer. I've heard that. they're going to open. They're going to let 
people start going through it like they're going to get the opening thing in at five but you don't get to, get to go through the gates they're just going to screen you and then they kind of corral you into something and then yeah shane lowry will be there <laughs> <laughs> nine feet tall <laughs> anyway absolutely <laughs> awe the size of this lad they're gonna, corral you and they're gonna brand you and then you'll be allowed i would say 5 30 be safe yeah that's probably right? good so thank you everyone for tuning in we will be back uh doing live shows the rest of the week as well <laughs> oh cheers from uh from what's the name of herb roller herb that's roller exactly right so yeah. cheers thanks everyone for tuning in Holy herb roller. Holy roller.